Hello and welcome again to English Expressions with Dr. Steph. It's a beautiful day in the Caribbean. I am sitting here with a book in my hand and a glass of lemonade in my other hand and just enjoying a wonderful time. I am looking at works by Maurice Condé. She is the second um, Guadeloupian author, French author that I am looking at. Well, author from the French Caribbean. We did talk before about Simone Schwartzbart, and these are two authors whose works I have looked at in great detail. I looked at this work again and you can see that it's not a new book. You can see it is aged. If I were to jump into, let me put my lemonade down. If I were to jump into, um, into the work itself, I'm seeing a lot of markings again. So this is one that hails back to the 90s for me. So Maurice Condé is actually someone who in 2018 got the alternate prize for um, the prize that was replacing the Nobel Prize in, prize in Literature. So she is a top author, someone who has done extremely well for herself. There are several works to her credit. Uh, I think it was in 1984 that she published one of her leading works, Segu. And in 1985, she had the sequel to Segu, which is The Children of Segu. And of course, her works are written in French, but a lot of them have been translated to English so that persons like I, who do not speak, um, persons like me, I don't speak French, but I am able to enjoy her writings, her works. So a season in Rehata, un saison en Rehata, I told you I don't speak French, I don't know why I even attempted that, is a work that I studied in one of my gender related classes i think it was gender affairs class back in undergrad days and it's something that has stayed with me all this time has obviously stayed on my bookshelf all this time um we want to just very quickly look at what this particular work is about and i wanted to share with you a little bit about who marie Condé is so in the forefront of the work it very quickly gives a biography of Condé. It says here, oh, I've got to switch glasses. It says here that Maurice Condé was born and now resides in Guadeloupe, having spent much of her life in Africa. She studied in Paris and gained a doctorate in comparative literature from the Sorbonne in 1975. And her first novel, Herre Maconon, was published, Herre Maconon, was published the following year. Her literary output has continued steadily since then with Un Seison Arihata in 1981, Segu in 84, Segu 2 in 85, a volume of short stories, Pais Melee in 1985, and most recently, Moi Tituba Sorcier. I remember that one, um, Tituba the Witch. Uh, I don't know if that translation is correct, but I remember um, the story about Tituba the Sorcerer or sorceress rather, this gained Dr. Condé wider recognition as a leading contemporary Caribbean writer with the French award Le Grand Prix Littéraire de la Femme. And of course, she is married to Richard Philcox, a professional translator, and he has worked on the English language editions of her works like Harry Magnon, Segu One, and A Season in Rahata. So, lucky, lucky, her husband has been able to translate her work from French to English. So I wanted very quickly to tell you, based on the back of the work, what this particular work is all about. I didn't want to read an excerpt. I wanted to introduce you to Maurice Condé, give you an idea of some of the works that have been published in her name, and hopefully just whet your appetite to go out and find her, go out and um, purchase her works, and just enjoy reading them as I have done over the years. So it says here that in Rihata, a small, sleepy, backwater town in a fictitious African state, a couple and their family struggle to come to terms with each other against the background of political maneuvering and upheaval. Maria Helene, far from her native home in Guadeloupe, lives unhappily with her African husband, Zek, who is ridiculed with material problems and weighted down by his own burden of inferiority towards his younger and more successful brother, Madhu. 
their uneasy existence is further disturbed by the arrival of Madhu, now Minister for Rural Development, on an official visit to Rehata. Murphy events from the past resurface and send ripples through their lives. The portrait of an African community torn between progress and tradition and subject to the whims of a dicta dictatorship unfolds through this subtle web of personal relationships. A Season in Rehata is a novel of political exile, grief, and loneliness. So Maurice Conde is definitely worth reading. She would have won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2018. She got the alternate prize, um, but she remains one of those outstanding Guadeloupean authors, someone you should definitely read if you have an interest in Caribbean writings, in writings about um, black women, in writings about a nation or, or individuals characters who reflect the nation and the progress of the nation and this is definitely one of those you want to get your hands on so i am again on my back porch so you're hearing all of the noises of just country life and um what it means to exist here in the caribbean hope it has not been too much of a distraction for you there goes that rooster <laughs> but i do want to say thank you for joining me again on english expressions with dr steph I hope that you have been enjoying my coupling of my African clothes with my love of books and I sincerely hope that you will like, share and subscribe and join me next time.